Yo, this sun is coming out earlier and earlier. I'm telling y'all. So as you can see, we are back at everybody's favorite vehicle. I miss driving this car. Uh, North Texas has some nasty weather for a couple days. Obviously, it left just as quickly as it came, so I'm happy about that. It's crazy, a week ago it was like eight degrees with snow and ice, and now, today I think it's supposed to be like mid 70s or something, it's crazy. Somebody just plays with the weather switch all day. Oh, look, y'all, burning up as always. It's hot, always burning up. It's 42, but I'm dying right now. What's even more crazy is this inflation. Like, why is it normal to pay $5 for a little box of cereal? Like, that's crazy, dog. I was reading, like, yesterday or something like that, talking about January was the highest level of inflation or something like that. Like, just the speed and how high it got, it's never done that before. And it is insane. And the craziest thing that has went up, in my opinion, is definitely gas. For sure, gas. I ain't never paid this much to fill up. I know other places is crazy. You know, I know always the tri-state, you know, NYC. Price is always gonna be wild. Definitely on the West Coast, because things are always crazy out there. But it's like, for things just to go up in price and just keep going up, going up, it is insane, man. Like I said, I never pay that much to fill up no car. You know, and I'm like, that's kind of why I went with a V6, because I didn't want another gas guzzler or an extra gas guzzler. On top of that, I go to the pump, I'm like, well, thank God, that's all I, that's all I gotta pay. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna mess around and go buy me an EV or something like that. You know, no, I'm kidding. I wouldn't buy one. Not that I wouldn't buy one, I wouldn't buy one, like, right now. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't like those Mercedes. Them eggs, things are weird. Like the Tesla egg, you know, that one, I don't like it either. I get one of those, I get another bike before I get an EV, you know. I don't really care for Teslas, because they, um, I just don't like the way they look inside or out. Like I'm real big on interiors, and to me, those things are just like, they so plain on the inside. I don't like the idea of a big screen replacing everything. Like I want a button. Like I'm playing with buttons all day. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to have to Google search to turn my seat warmers off or something. But now that's a couple EVs that I think are cool like I say one EV that I do like so far is uh, the Audi. The Audi is weird. It's like a the Audi RS e-tron. I believe it is. It's a sedan. Basically the electric RS5. Now, that car, just like looking at it online and stuff, I think it's a pretty cool vehicle. You know, I haven't had a chance to go test it out. I haven't even seen one on the road. I see everything else. I haven't seen one of those. And I think it's because it's really, really expensive. Like, RS e-tron completely optioned out is like 140 k For that much, I'd rather go with the ICE vehicle, enjoy it while I can. I'd rather get like a R8, you know, or a CT5, or anything else. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. You know, that's me. And there's some other EVs, like just regular ones, you know. Uh, like all the smaller brands, they have them. Like, uh, what is it, Hyundai or Kia? They got like a full EV coming out, or I think I see one on the road, I forgot. Like, eventually everyone's going to have a whole lineup, right? Like I read, uh, oh my God, who is it? I want to get this wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it. I want to say Bentley. Bentley announced that they want to go full electric. And that's crazy because they're a luxury company, right? 
So it's not like they out here occupying the roads like Toyota or Honda or Chevy or those brands. Like when's the last time you seen a brand new Bentley on the road? Besides that one rich dude in your neighborhood. You know, you see the same car over and over. Like how, how many do you really see? So that kind of blew my mind that they, you know, they're trying to go EV as well. But my big thing with EVs is just uh, with everybody else's same concern is the range. Like, I do not want a car that I want to say can leave me stranded, but it can kind of leave you stranded. Like, say they have a 300 mile range or whatever they are. That's like you go one way to Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no EV pumps or nothing like that out there. So, so it's kind of like the infrastructure isn't there and that's what everybody's concern is. And for me, I'm not con completely convinced on it. You know, I'm just, I'm just not. Let me show these people what they don't have. Told you sometimes you gotta you gotta remind people what they don't have. That's all. But yeah, like I was saying, the infrastructure is just not there. Like if I go way out somewhere where you know it's stranded or it's a smaller town or just a smaller location then I'm gonna be stuck and that's just a scary thought you know what I mean like I know GM with theirs they're trying to hit that 400 mile range which is that's really good that's much better than a lot of other options like the RS e-tron I think I think it barely gets 300 or something like that so it's all still in testing stages, which is why I don't, like I said, I'm not completely on board with it. I don't really care how they look either. I don't care for, just, I just don't care for the way they, they function either. Like it's weird, I know the RSE Tron supposedly it has sound, whatever that means, you know? But the way I just got on it, and it would just be dead silent, like people talking about the plaid, oh, it's fast, it's fast, it's fast. I don't care about fast. I care about that feeling, you know, that exhilaration. And I'm trying to hold on to that as much as possible. Now, would I buy like a EV performance car? Like they talk about, you know, making the Camaro electric, making the Corvette electric. I would, but only if it matches the predecessor you know GM and the Camaro I'm not a fan of how it looks now I do like the Z01 y'all know the Z01 and the SS they look different from each other I'm a fan of how the Z01 looks um, if they go more in that direction then yeah I'm on board with it but I'm not a fan of the weird alien semi-european pony car that they got right now like if they went back to their roots and made it look more old school, I think that would be better. You know, with like the, the rounded headlights, just the sloping body, a little bit more square. I think it would be, I think it would be a hit, honestly. And if it manages to keep a reasonable price point, that's another thing. You know, cars, like everything else is getting more and more expensive. A brand new car costs more than it did 10 12 15 years ago because of everything they got to put in it you know everybody wants a screen everybody wants you know the creature features and they want power and they want efficiency you gotta you gotta pay for the r d on that stuff so it's just um a lot that you have to put into it so yeah that's the most important thing to me is just style and how it feels you know thing is with cars to some people it's just an appliance like they don't really care about how it feels you know 
driving and getting on it. They don't, they do not care about that at all. And gas is just ridiculous. Everything going up. And that's the thing that ticks me off about gas going up is the fact that it's a necessity. You can't really cheap out on gas. You know, you can't say, oh, I'm going to get less ounces. Like, I'm going to buy the smaller box of cereal. I'm going to buy the cheaper brand or this or that. No, you got to buy gas regardless. You got to get where you got to go. You got to do what you need to do. And you can't just say, I'm going to cheap out and get a generic gas. No. Because they're all the same, too. That's the funny part. Like, before it used to be, oh, this brand is cheaper than that one. Nope, they're all the same now. Like, that's how they get people. You know? Like, it's just, it's not fair at all. We don't have infrastructure everywhere, like out here. To talk about public transportation up north. Yeah, I took public transportation all over the place. That's what I did. But out here, nah, you gotta drive, which is fine. Because obviously, I like cars and I like driving. So, yeah, EVs, I'm not completely sold on. I'm not sold on them because the infrastructure is not there. Like, I don't have anywhere to plug in no EV. Um, around me, there ain't nowhere to plug in EV. Like, some companies, some uh, properties have them on site. This one does not. I don't know if they're ever implemented. I guess they'll have to eventually. And then again, like I said, I go out of town. I, was, I visit family somewhere, way out somewhere who ain't got no means of plugging up a car that defeats the whole purpose. I gotta get gas anyway. I almost feel like it's just another tool to keep certain people down. It's to keep another certain demographic, you know, out the loop, so to speak. And uh, I'm not on board with that either. You gotta, you gotta keep us all included. You gotta keep us all involved. Video might have been a little weird. I'm I'm just tired today. Um, whew, it is Friday, like I said, been a long week. You know what I'm saying? But if it's your first time on the channel, make sure you like the video, share with the homies, subscribe for more content. I'm going here. It's gonna be a nice day. It's been nice ever since the ice cleared. It's weird. Like it hasn't been no clouds, no wind. Like it never happened. It's like we want you to completely forget that that happened. You know. But as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And until next time, peace.